I would have taken you now to Surah Rahman. Oh yes. To give you some more information about the event which is coming. We do have the time. Maybe after Surah. <coughs> Allah does not waste words in the Quran, you know. No. So then why in this Surah he has repeated the same ayah 31 times? Have you ever read Surah Rahman? You have, mashallah. I also read it. And guess what I found? 31 times I found. For me, ayy ala bi rabbi uma to kendila. Why did he say it only once? Had you? There must be a reason. There must be a very important reason. There must be a strategically importance of supreme, supreme, supreme importance for him to be knocking at our heads 31 times. There is an answer to the question. But my suspicion is that Allah would not send the meaning the indication, the interpretation, <coughs> until he's ready for that knowledge to come to the world. So even though there were very, very, very great scholars in this whole month, until the time came, Allah did not give them the knowledge. No. And now at this moment Allah is giving the knowledge, which will explain to us why 31 times you said, and let us stop there and after the salat we'll continue in shalom. But nobody has been able to go to Surah to Rahman and see the link with Akhir Zaman. Because I have been working in the field of Akhir Zaman now for a long, long time, pioneering this branch of knowledge. In His kindness, Allah Ta'ala has given me just a little bit of Surah Al-Rahman. I believe there's more. And the question that we ask is, why this ayah of the Qur'an is repeated in Surah Al-Rahman 31 times? And our answer is because Allah wants us to understand that there's something of absolutely crucial importance, strategic importance, paramount importance in this surah that he would hold until a certain time. And the first thing that we have to look to from the ayi alahi rambi kuma, kuma, the verse we directing attention to two, not to one. Rambu Kuma, Rambi Kuma. Which of the signs of your Lord do both of you reject? So there are two, and there are two who are kuffar. They reject the ayat of Allah. If you reject the ayat of Allah, you kafir. So in her be kafir, her would her be kafir. And the Quran itself now reveals where it says, Ya ma'ashara jinni wa nits aadeiwa. So over here they are kafir, who are human beings. And with this side they are so far, who are jinn. See? And these two are together all the time. Together all the time. They are in alliance, helping each other. Kafir is al kafir And now, in order for us to recognize who Allah is warning us about, so you can easily recognize them, He says, Ya Rashad al Jinti wal Ins. In this Tatapu and Tatapu. I mean, Abdul is an Alaki Baba. But Fudu, see? Allah lets the information out. These are human beings and these are jinn who are informed. 
if you want to engage in space exploration with missiles flying intercontinental ballistic missiles and nuclear missiles and satellites and revolving space military stations above and below and robotic submarines under in the sea but you are evil people you reject the signs of Allah, you are kuffar, but you will lead the world. You will lead the world in a scientific and technological revolution which is going to flower into space wars. Is that what they call it? No, no. sorry, Star Wars they call it. <laughs> Star Wars. Who are these people who have the stamp of Fear of their face. They, they say a man can marry another man and get a marriage certificate. Do you need more than that? So Allah is warning us that these people are not working alone. <coughs> no. They have another force working with them. And that other force are shayateen. And it is the combination of these two forces that is causing this explosion to take place above and below, the sea and the land. And so we have 500 years of oppression and colonialism and imperialism and brutal oppression of our people around the world. And then the Quran says, I love this ayah over oh, yeah. here. It brings joy to the heart of those who cannot tolerate oppression. Sanafruhu lakum ayyu al Oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. We love it. I'm going to deal with you, says Allah. I'm going to deal with you, sir. Nafrubu lakum. Ayyuhat thakaran. You two people who are laden with sin. Yes, I can recognize them with sin. But the ones who care only about keeping your business and keeping your job and you know, keeping your green card and so on. And they, they have no guts. They have no courage to stand up to denounce the person. No, no, no. I can't do that. They will call me a terrorist. For them there is no pain in the heart. But the one who is faithful to the mission that Allah entrusted to this Ummah. And this is the last Ummah. And that mission is if it is right, stand up for it. Regardless of the price you have to pay. And if it is wrong and unjust and a mountain of lies and oppression, stand up against it, regardless of the price you have to pay. That is the mission given to this Ummah. And those who faithfully follow that mission are the Muslims, the true Muslims. And for them there is pain in the heart. So when they see in Surah Rahman, I'm going to deal with both of you. You two of you who are laden with sin. It brings joy and relief to our hearts, yes. And to your hearts, provided that you do not betray Allah and run away from the battlefield in order to keep a house, to keep a job, to keep a car. You don't want to go back to Pakistan, no, no. I want to stay here. So I have to keep a low profile. Is that the book of Muhammad? Let me tell you what is the Sunnah. And for this message I have to send to the management committee of every masjid in this country. Not so much the Imam. Because many times there was an Imam who came to me last night to apologize to me. I won't mention the city. They had invited me and then they start putting more kind of condition. Change the topic. You can come to the masjid, but don't talk at this, don't talk at that, don't talk at that, don't talk at that, don't talk at that, don't talk at that. So I say, get lost. So 
Imam came to me last time, a young man. He said, Sheikh, it's not me. It's not me. I will look at it. my management committee. They put all the conditions. So this is why I have to send a message to every masjid in this country, every management committee. Let me tell you what is the sunnah of a man named Muhammad al -Islam. A man named Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam if you say that you follow the sunnah, then listen to the sunnah. The sunnah is, this is the Ummul Qura. This is the heart. The mother of all cities. This is beloved Makkah. And in this city there is the Kaaba. And he's lived all his life here. And Allah has raised him as a prophet here in this city. La uqsimu bihaz al But because he stood up and proclaimed the truth with all regard for consequences, they wanted to kill him. And he had to flee for his life and hide in a cave and then go to Yatrib in the north. He could have torn down, you know, shake, torn down, torn down. The British government would prefer that, torn down. He could have done that. He wouldn't have to be a <clears throat> But what was his response when they said torn down? He said, not even with the sun in my right hand, nor the moon in my left, will I have done that. That's the man you follow. Remember that. So if even you have to give up the masjid and go and pray in your home, and if you have to give up this country and go somewhere else, do not give up Islam. We will not allow a false Islam to emerge in this country. No! If we have to see a false Islam emerging that the oppressor can accept, it's better for us to die. The grave is better for us than to live in such a world. To betray Islam? No, we will not do that. And tonight you come to put that into your hearts also. Particularly if you are young. If you are young, do not, do not, do not betray Allah and His Messenger. Regardless of the price you have to pay. Look at my record and you'll see. I'm 76 years of age. Then Surah Al Rahman and Allah tells us how He's going to deal with them. Remember, Sana Frugalakum. I do have the power. I'm going to deal with more of you. Laden with sin. And now he tells us how he's going to deal with them. For you said, Alaikum, Shuazun, Minna, Wanuhas. Is that the ayah? I'm already mistaken. And I'm going to send against you a flash of blazing fire be followed by smoke. Did you hear that? And that looks like it's just around the corner. Around the corner. A flash of blazing fire <coughs> to be followed by smoke. And it's there in Surah for all time. That smoke is the fire. Soul of the Quran from the Quran. And that can only come, in my opinion, from nuclear war. And we seem to be on the door of nuclear war now. So I don't think this is the time to eat biryani and go home and see. <laughs> we might be dead tomorrow. And we want to die with our hearts in the right place. So tonight, before we sleep, we make Toba. If we have so far not stood up for the mission that Allah gave to us. So we make Toba to Allah. If you have to take us tonight, at least take us with this in our heart. That we will remain faithful to the mission you have given to this ummah. And now comes the last piece. And I love it even more. Oh yes, I love it even more. Listen to this. I had thought, let me not reveal this. I don't want NATO to know. 
for the large and stop it. So I kept it a secret. But then I realized, no. If Allah has blessed you to understand something in the Quran, Allah wants that knowledge to go out. So I decided, no, I have to repeat it. So we go back now to the ayah <coughs> concerning Star Wars, the exploration of space for military purposes, and the, the depths of the sea and the earth and so on. Ya ma'ashar al-jinni wal إن استطعتم من أن تنفذوا من أقارب السماوات والأرض فانفذوا. All you two communities of human beings and jinn aligned with each other, laden with sin. If you wish to embark on the effort to explore the stratas of the sky above and the earth below and the sea and so on, فانفذوا. Go ahead and make the effort. Allah is inviting them to make the effort. But this is how the ayah ends. I hope the two is listening. Allah says, "Latan fuzuna illa bi sultan." Latan fuzuna illa bi sultan. Latan fuzuna illa bi sultan. That you will not succeed unless I offer. It is with my authority that your intercontinental ballistic missiles can fly and your satellites can go around the earth and your robotic submarines can go on the bottom of the sea with their nuclear missiles and so on. And so implicit in this is that whenever I want, I can withdraw authority. And on that day when I withdraw authority, I will withdraw, withdraw authority not for all, but for only these two. Only these two. This alliance of sinful men and sinful jinn, you are the ones for whom authority will be withdrawn. So when you fire off your missiles, they might not fly. Did you hear that, Nasa? Did you hear that NATO? I'm talking to you today. Or, you might want it to fly in this direction, but it flies in another direction. And do you know how Allah can do it? Let me tell you. I hope you're listening to me. You do you know that there's something called angels? They don't believe in angels. So I have to tell them. There's something called angels? And do you know that in the bottle of Bada, Allah sent angels? And they fought with us. Do you know that? So Allah can send angels in any war that takes place. Did you know that? And He can take an angel for every one of your missiles. Every single one. And the, <laughs> and the angel will take it in that direction. Instead of this direction. Huh? But why should Allah do that to another people? who are not identified as sinful. Why should Allah do that for another people for whom He has said, وَجَعِلُ الَّذِينَ تَبَعُوكَ وَجَعِلُ الَّذِينَ تَبَعُوكَ فَوْكَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا And I'm going to call this group which follows you, O Nabi Muhammad, Nabi Isa, Isa. To rise above and be dominant over that, those bunch of kuffar. And when I establish your dominance over them, it will continue until the end of the world that dominance will continue. And so now we know that it is this nuclear war which is coming, which is a one time event in all of history. Never happened before and will not happen again. It is in this nuclear war which is coming that the world will see the truth which is in the Quran and which I have revealed to you today. I don't need to say anything more. <laughs> Thank you.